Hello! And, uh, good time of day to you. It's Friday for me, and, um, and, uh, well, I decided to make a video. I just filmed, re recorded, uh, step 29 in the Supernatural software development, develop a game series, which is about making a color fade. It's not a huge thing, but it's a step. I, I've been away from the project for a long time uh well you know other things to do and um i can't say that i lost interest but i it was sort of i was in a flow like for the first 20 odd five whatever episodes every friday i'd be in here and i'd be doing the next thing and i just fell out of that flow somehow and i don't know well, it's typical for for me, I suppose, but uh, I haven't lost interest, so I'm I'm sort of getting back in it. I did a little smooth scrolling. Uh, I, I did some coding and uh, made a little video on that. So I sort of got back. I, f I found a way of writing and compiling and running the code on a Mac. Um, because that is what I work with and I, I have that, uh, that laptop with me basically when I, uh, when I'm in the living room and I'm away from this computer, I can develop when sitting there. I've also installed team viewer so I can take over the PC here from, you know, uh, I can do that remotely so I can, I can sort of made it easier to work on the code and, and, and sort of analyze and look at it and try things. And so I, I, I hope to be, to be getting back into, uh, the swing of things. Um, there's a nice base for a game now, but you know, there's a, it's, it's not really interesting. There are enemies with basic behavior and there's sort of laying the foundation for a nice game with all the movement and that's and, and all the all the game stuff is is in there uh, sort of and it, it needs to get interesting building levels and all that so um i'm sure uh, I, I i don't look ahead you know in in a sense that i i haven't skipped ahead in the project to see what's coming what's coming when i know that would probably be a nice approach so that i have something more to say or about the direction we're going but i like to be surprised as well so that um i like to be surprised sometimes on some things but not on the thing that i'm that i'm talking about today so um did i show you this did i show you this i don't think i showed you this this is a pickup uh talk about surprises i saw a girl offering two cartridges super nintendo cartridges and she was offering this one uh damon's crest and i thought damon's crest she means demon's crest how can you not write that correctly and she didn't have any any specific price or just it was it was not so <laughs> I thought, let's just try this. What if someone somehow bought this a long time ago and it had a little journey and it ended up in this girl's possession and she wanted to get rid of it? Maybe it was her boyfriend's and she thought, well, you, what the hell? It's, this game is it goes for hundreds, right? 400, 500, even more boxed and complete. What a demon's crest is like a very expensive game. So I thought, let's just do it. So I, I mailed her, just uh, acted like uh, like I, you know, I don't know anything about gaming or games and and their and their value. So I, I <laughs> so so what? The, she had another one. I I can't remember what that. I wasn't interested in that one. Just interested in this one. So what what do you want for the uh, for the Damon's? I I think I even called it Damon's Crest. 
And uh, oh, she said, uh, uh, I, th- I think she said, which I can't remember what she said, 10 or 15 or whatever. I thought, man, I, this is my lucky day. This is my lucky day. Finally, I, I run into something that is high value and I'm buying it from someone who doesn't know what they have. So, of course, I mean, <laughs> that is not how things turned out. Because uh, we sort of made the deal, and, I, and I'm t- and I'm just counting my blessings, you know. I'm <laughs> thinking, okay, you know, I've got it. And then she said, "Oh, you know, it's a repro." <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> it's a repro. Why didn't you say that at the start? But she had, of course, because I hadn't read the uh, the ad properly, and it said repro, and it's a repro. So I got this game. I would never buy. It. I mean, it's very light. It doesn't even say Nintendo on it, so they didn't even try to make it a uh, like a credible repro. It's just a fake. Uh, but I don't care. I like. I, I've got more repros. I just wanted to play the game, and I and I probably can on my retro pie. I haven't even tried it, but I've got this Demon's Crest. And you know what? I don't even like it. It's not even a good game. I mean, it's it's graphically and it, it's, someone's done a a real job of making it look interesting but the controls are crap i I can't play this game if you uh uh, you know it's it's like in any human interface you have to have like uh, you have to build confidence you have to show that eat that a button is always the same function so jump is jump but in this game Jump is jump, but if you press it a little longer, it's sort of hover, and you can sort of fly. And then if you jump near an object, it's sort of attached to the side of the object, and you're never sure what's going to happen. So someone, some enemy fires something at you when you jump, but when you're near a ledge, you'll just hold on to the ledge when you just wanted to jump. And then you have to figure out, how do I get off the ledge, and what happens? Do I jump back or do i climb up or it's it's a mess and i don't like it demon's crest yeah make sure that you know what kind of game you're buying because gameplay wise this is not worth even a hundred no no way i don't like it sorry um so that was one surprise good surprise huh i got a repro i don't mind you know i i didn't pay too much for it but Remember this game? Wings of War uh, on the Genesis uh, and on the Mega Drive is Gainau Ginug Wing Winged Men, and I've got the I've got the card in the machine, but uh, it didn't come with a manual. Damn it! So I know that Mark had a video up of his manual. And I said, you know, why don't I, uh, can I borrow your manual? No, that's not how it went. I found a copy. Someone had taken the manual, uh, this is Mark's manual, taken it and made a copy, right? And flipped the page, made a copy, flipped the page, made a copy, and so on, and so on, to the end, flipped the page, make a copy, backside copy, done, PDF. Um, and I took that to a, uh, to a print shop and they said oh thank you yeah well <coughs> we'll reproduce that and uh we'll see you tomorrow and it'll be done uh and I, I i know these people i i go in there all the time and i and i pay like a tenner or something you know i just i i, I would have done that but then i got an email and they said uh oh uh, mm, a problem uh because uh if you have a pdf that is scanned like that you can print it, but you can never make a booklet out of it. You'd have to cut and paste each page and, and make it into a booklet because this, I mean, if you fold it open, the center page is like pages 20 and 21, but the back side of this is page 19, and this is 22, of course, you know. So you have to have a specific order. So you can't just... I mean, copying the manual and for reading online, it's it's fine copying it like that. But you actually have to take the staples out 
and then uh, and it's double sided too, right? So you have to copy each. So uh, you said, well, if you can, if you can give me the manual, uh, I can uh, do that. I said fine. So I, I called Mark. I said, I mean, my the manual I'd found online was uh, a a. a a Wings of War manual. I, I, I couldn't find a PDF version of this. So Mark had this, and he let me borrow it, and I took it to the print shop. Thank you. We'll uh, we'll get we'll make sure we get it copied. So I didn't hear back from them the next day. So I, I, I hopped on my bicycle and went over there, and what do you know? They're closed uh, because they're redecorating and they're closed the next day. And this is like Christmas, New Year's, blah, 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 weekend, Monday closed. And then Tuesday they're open. That's like almost a full week. Fuck. I said, and I'd said, you know, there's no rush, but I, you know, at least they could have told me like, okay, uh, thank you. Uh, we'll, we'll work on this, but, uh, mind you, we're closed tomorrow. And the day after we open on Tuesday, I would have enjoyed knowing that. Right now, I didn't know that, so I'm I'm already a little bit, you know, ah. Eh. So Tuesday comes along, and I decide to uh, stop by. I hadn't heard anything, so I said, "Yo, uh, I walk in there, and uh, uh, I'm here to pick up some of my print work." And the lady says, "Oh, um, uh, uh, I'm," and I asked, "Is it done?" "Yes, it's done because we have we have no backlog anymore." They told me. I said, oh, "Fine, cool." So she walks into the back, and there's no manual. Oh, I hear a voice. Oh, yeah, the manual. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's gonna be some extra work because it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's, it's a lot of work. <laughs> Fuck. Wednesday. I think, I think I, I, uh, I don't know. I, I, I went back like a few days later. I, I couldn't make it. I had to work. You know, right? So, and um, I think he did call me. He said, well. The manual that I made for you is a little bit smaller because when you fold this open, this is the original manual, when you fold this open, the length of this manual is taller than an A4. Are you still interested in my story, by the way? Or am, uh, am I boring you? <laughs> uh, it's taller than an A4, so I have to make it a little bit smaller. Hmm, I think, oh, okay, well, you know, it'll be fine, so... And uh, yeah, well, uh, this is it. Uh, this is it. This is the this is the reproduced. And I, and and I I picked like the shiny good paper. And the print quality is uh, is pretty good. There's one margin problem somewhere where the text gets really close to the margin here. So I guess he just did a little scan error or whatever. But it's the the order is correct and everything. But look at the difference, man. Look at the difference in size. Can you see that? Can you see that? That's just the differences in size is uh, formidable. Um, not a big problem for readability, but it, it it doesn't fit in the it doesn't fit in the case. I can put it in the case, but it's just knocking about in the uh, inside the box. So, and then he said, "Well, it was a lot of work." And we're at the point of sale. We're at the cash register. It was a lot of work. Yeah. If, if I, uh, uh, you know, if he said to me, if 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 I, if I charged you for all the uh, the work, that would be a really uh, expensive manual, twenty five euros. So I'm standing there. Wow, twenty five euros. Uh, that's uh, that's an expensive manual. But luckily, he's not going to charge me the whole thing, right? So I'm waiting there. And he's waiting for me to put my my card in the machine to pay, and that's when I found out that the twenty five is including uh, everything off. Like <laughs> this is the, my price twenty five bucks twenty five bucks for a manual that's too small. <coughs> uh, you know that's a that's a nasty surprise, isn't it? <laughs> oh man, I didn't. Uh... I didn't expect to uh, to pay that, but um, I know that Mark has another manual that I wanted to ha have, like uh, the Elite manual. So I, I asked the guy, you know, what if I? It's a lot of work. Uh, it, it, would I do you a favor of uh, you know uh, doing some more manuals? That was before I knew the price. 
obviously now I'm not going to do that anymore. But he said, uh, well, you know, uh, now that I've done the work, uh, it's all right. I said, no, I mean, I can, I understand that you can print off another one of what you've already done, but a new manual, yeah, it's going to be just as expensive. <laughs> no way, man. So reprodu reproducing these manuals isn't uh, cheap, and I didn't really realize that until now. Maybe if I had my own printer or something, or maybe someone... I know that Chad... Remember Chad? Chad Bailey? Chad did his own... Uh, uh, you know, printed his own artwork. So, And I know there are companies around that, that reproduce that stuff. I, um maybe I should look into that instead of doing it myself because I'm not doing this anymore. Anyway, at least I have an original uh, game, and it's a good game. Uh, I, Wings of War, Gainaug, whatever you call it, um, is a, is a, it's a good game. And I'm glad I have the manual because there's some Stuff that you pick up and you don't pick up and, and it works a certain way. So some games are really difficult like uh, to understand. Like uh, I'm, uh, I'm trying to get into a game by Jeff Minter called Iridus Alpha. Um, that is a weird ass game, man. You cannot play that without a manual. You have to know what you're doing. Otherwise you just die and you don't know what happened. So... Uh, luckily, he has like a, a uh, an HTML version of the manual, but again, it's not something. Well, that may be something that you can just print yourself, but um, it, I think that's the reason why I would like to have like a physical copy of games like Paradroid and and just because the this I mean A4 paper size is the same all over the world, right? And if you make Stuff like this, any printer in the in the world is gonna say, "Oh, this is uh, larger than A4." How would you, you know, what kind of, uh, how would you do that? Um, uh, you'd have to either take A3 or have some sort of continuous roll of paper that you can cut at any size. I I, I do suppose that Sega, you know, they they order like uh, twelve thousand copies of this, and that may get easier, but it's it's a non-standard size. Um, so that was a surprise. Another surprise, um, I, uh, oh, I've got two minutes left on the cut. The camera's going to cut out after 20 minutes. Um, I, uh, I had a friend, I went when I was younger. And he had a game called Frisky Tom. Uh, I've talked about this before. It's one of those uh, games with a fluorescent uh, tube display, right? Uh, um, and that game was just ace. We used to play arcade, and he lived in an apartment building, and they had a little, like, uh, a little shed downstairs, uh, that we used to play arcade. We'd set up all the games that we had between us and make a little table. And uh, f uh, for this <laughs> for this game, we could e even turn off the lights because it you know it was so bright you could just play it in the dark. Uh, and we'd have all these games lying around. But this Frisky Tom was a game that we both wanted to play. Uh, and all the other games were there basically for show because we just wanted to play that game. But that was a that was a, a like a, a rare or you know nobody had this game. This this was pretty uh, and and it was a good game. It's actually I I didn't know it at the time. It's actually uh, a, a a port like a tabletop port of a of an arcade game uh, by the same name, Frisky Tom or Pipeline. I think it's also called. Uh, you can get the game on MAME, and I think it's part of a PlayStation 2 collection. Um, I don't know the name. It has a Japanese name. I, uh, video is going to cut. Hold on. So this game, it's been, it's it's in my mind, just like, uh, like the Puck Monster that my brother had, which is also a VF, 
like a, a, a fluorescent display game. I didn't have that. My brother had that. this Frisky Tom game. Um, it's always been in my mind. I think that that was such a cool thing. Um, there's there's other things like a tiny tabletop arcade for, for Super Cobra. My friend Paul had that. He got it for his birthday, and I thought, how is it possible? How do people get this stuff for their birthdays? You know, my parents didn't even realize that stuff existed, and how. And he just got it for his birthday. I thought that was really cool. And it was a, it was. I mean, I knew Cobra, Super Cobra, uh, and and that ports very well to that kind of format, right? <clears throat> so Frisky Tom as well. It port. It's a, It's still a, a nice game. It's smaller, but it's nice. <clears throat> so naturally, I start looking for this game, and uh, sure, you can get it from Japan. Uh, One hundred and forty pounds. Uh, 200 for boxed and complete new old stock even wow man but you know way too expensive so i sort of put it in my mind like something i could uh you know if, if i have a little bit of extra money or uh, if i can uh, put some aside i can i can i can buy one there was one for 60 pounds but that was broken and uh I, there's no way of i i know of people online that would take that and uh, have a look at it and uh, and and maybe it's a, maybe it's an easy fix you know but for 60 pounds what if it what if it's not fixable or it just be left with a broken thing uh, uh, or what if one of the i know it has a hitachi ic in it that is specific to that machine and uh, chances are that i would not be able to find it or solder it in or whatever so i I didn't buy the broken one. So last week, I of course, I have my searches out and I get a little email from my local seller site. And uh, yeah, it was a one, is, a one is up. So, and he wanted 80 euros for it, which I thought it was didn't come with a box, didn't come with a manual, but 60 for a broken one and 80 for a, a working one, no box. Uh, that's fine by me. Um, I'd like the box, but I'd take it out of the box and I'd have the box and I'd put it in the attic and never look at it. So it's about the game. So I, 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 I said, well, you know, let's, let's do it. So I, um, I bought that. I bought that. I, mean, I have it right here. I have my Frisky Tom. I'll turn it on. Um, Frisky Tom. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a game about this. There's, there's like a, a water tank here, and there's a pipeline, uh, and there's a bath there. I'm a little guy, a little ghosty guy. I'm Frisky Tom, and uh, there are mice. They are creeping about the screen, and they are taking out sections of the pipe, and they and they're dropping the sections. So you have to pick them up and put them back, or whack the mice with those um, uh, with with the pipes. Put them back, and you get points for for um, uh, having a complete pipe. The water flows into a bath, and when the bath fills up, a little naked lady appears there, which, when you're seven years old, um, is very interesting, of course. So, um, Frisky Tom. Of course, try looking for Frisky Tom on, on eBay. You get uh, literature that you're not looking for but ebay thinks you're interested in that so you know maybe that's why the french called it pipeline <laughs> this is probably better <laughs> anyway for 80 bucks i contacted him and some people are really nice to work with some are a little bit stiff to work with so this guy is a little bit stiff we have this system here's the thing right um we have we have this system uh, on this local uh, seller site that ha that is, is it's called like an equal trade. What happens is that I pay money to um, like an in between account. They ship me the the goods that I buy with the track and trace option, and when it arrives and I say that it arrives, they get their money from the in between account. Just to 
basically that puts the um, uh, the responsibility uh, with the seller, right? If if the stuff never arrives, or if if I am like in a bad mood and I think, hey, I'm just gonna say that it never arrived. But that's what the track and trace is supposed to do. You know, you can both see that the package has actually arrived. So I, and this is like the the second or third time that I've I, I've asked. So I mean, the other party has to agree to to do this, and people don't want to do it. They just don't want to do it. So I, I was back to the old method of uh, of sending him the money, and um, and then hoping uh, that he uh, he ships the thing. And uh, oh yeah, he shipped the thing. And he first he said to me, "Oh, the shipping cost is going to be six uh, six fifty. <laughs> first he says, "Why didn't you transfer me the eighty, including uh, shipping?" And I thought that was a fair deal, eighty, including the shipping. You know, it's uh, in, instead of doing the like uh, the fair trade deal. But that's not what he meant. He meant, "Why don't you pay me the eighty and the shipping?" So I paid him the eighty. He said, "Well, the sh the shipping is six fifty. So, I said, fuck. So I think I, oh no. And then right after that, he said, "Well, I've I've shipped it, uh, and the shipping is not six fifty. It's nine euros. So I'm already from eighty up to eighty nine. Sure, you know, whatever. I pay him nine. Then the box arrives. No." No bubble wrap, no paper. It's just bouncing around in the in the in the in the fucking box, and it has a it has a sticker on it. Uh, shipping cost six seventy five. Fuck. So I get back to the guy. I said, uh, I can see that the shipping was six seventy five, and uh, I paid you nine. So uh, I'm sure you're gonna refund me the the two euros that. Is a difference. Now I said I had to pay for the box. I said to pay for the box, two euros. It's, forget it. You know, forget it. And and that I mean, I'm I'm glad I have this and it survived and it's in good nick. Uh, everything is just as he said. But I've had it sort of with buying expensive things like this, you know, and and uh, I've I've, I've I've had it with with buying stuff in general, so I don't think I'm gonna be doing many more pickup videos. I think I think I've got enough stuff, you know. With this thing, with the puck mon monster that I wanted, and this thing, this is my, like my history complete. I got the Comoro sixty four. I have everything I need, you know. I, I'm 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 gonna I'm I'm done with collecting. I play elite like all of the time. I play some other games with my friends online. I play some games that I'm that I'm into. I've I've got enough, and I've sort of had it with buying stuff. So uh, it's it's going to be a little bit tricky because I know I get enthusiastic when I see things or when I see others uh, playing games. I think, oh, I want that too. Uh, so I'm 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 going to have to exercise some. Uh, uh, some willpower to to actually get there. I, you know, I'm, I'm I'm probably gonna buy one or two things, probably on Steam, most likely, if at all. I still have the wish list there, but I want to stop. I want to stop. It's it's gone way too far. All this buying. I mean, I've 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 bought stuff over the years, and I'm sort of done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm complete. What I do want to do is uh, do the programming thing, you know, uh, and and do the the, the Commodore sixty four games and the streaming those games. That was nice. That's fun. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna try to do. That's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try and save, not spend my money on things so much anymore. Because what am I gonna buy? Um, yeah. So. Uh, um, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.